Hello Promising Traders, Alex here from PromisingTrader.com with your daily update on Digibyte US dollar. So we have the monthly view of Digibyte and before I begin this is only paper trading advice, never put your real money where I'm saying money may go, because I may be wrong, even though I must say with Bitcoin I'm pretty much spot on, it's doing exactly what I'm saying it's doing, but you know, it doesn't mean it will keep doing forever, I will eventually be wrong at one point and that's when you don't want to follow my advice because obviously uh, you need to do your own due diligence and you need to learn how to manage your money if you want to becoming a trader talking about becoming a trader in the top right corner as usual there is the link that shows you how to start up with the free version of TradingView there is a link in my pinned comment and in the description for you to download oh, so no, it's not downloading to register for free on TradingView you can do that and the video also shows you how to set TradingView up, how to set the indicators up, the interface and my candle scanner which you can get for free again. I am the developer of this so this is not published anywhere else than on, through me but I, I will give it to you for free and along with that I will also give you my advice and information and tips that may help you uh, becoming a wealthier person. I am on that journey. I'm not a millionaire, you know, but I work just three days a week, three days a week, and I am I cannot work less than that, otherwise I would. But you know, before I I I could leave the branch, let me call it branch, I want to make sure that I will be constantly able to support my family. So that's it. You can uh, go to promisingtrader.com slash join the tribe if you want to get the candle scanner, and again, it's free as well. I'm not selling you any thing that will um, teach you things. I will never teach you anything anything uh, for for sale. Uh, so yeah, um, that's, that's it. Okay, monthly view. Green candle, still. What's gonna happen now with Digibyte? With Digibyte, we have the new weekly candle, which is incredibly red, but look at the um, little, little, tail here, the little uh, lower shadow, is, is growing, isn't it? So it looks like there is a, a, an encouraging bit of rejection. This means that probably we're going to see a green candle in the, today at least, in the, um, in the daily. And if we check here, the crossover has occurred so far. Obviously, we are still on Tuesday and we need to see how this is going to look like on Sunday possibly and Monday we will have it done. So at the moment it looks encouraging and therefore that confirms, oh it's still, it's still red though in the day and it confirms what I was saying regarding the, um, the window even though it was looking very bearish but the window has been closed as per Steve Neeson's book. So uh, in the daily I have also revealed all the mess that actually the the big rejection occurred yesterday and this one I like it because you see it supports this area of support so when the price drops people buy and the price drops people buy still what I don't like is too many retests but as I said also this is not necessarily a bait a bad sign I mean now all the moving averages which we don't see very well all the moving averages are converging towards the price the value the real value which is very normal which is expected when a big move happens um, it either I explained this in the um, in the moving averages video which we you can check I'm going to leave you a link in the description because I cannot link you yet to my videos on YouTube if you want to watch that video I explain and I will also give you a strategy if you want to watch it uh, at the end of the there is a page there is a video as well actually I can link you to the video here right now and um, so I think it's about to move again, but probably it will take a few more days. And uh, in the meantime, though, this this piece will probably generate um, a micro movement, a micro big movement uh, somewhere, maybe in the six hours. Exactly. Let's see the six hours. In the six hours, well, we still have all these. They will not be undone. <laughs> I mean we need to break this resistance obviously because look 
shooting star, shooting star, very engulfing candle, boom, boom, boom. And you see how simple it is once you have my candle scanner enabled to find these powerful reversal signals. And uh, yeah, now we don't know yet. This candle is new. We don't know what's going to happen. It looks like it's being rejected here. So actually this green line is now a red line along with the other one, which it's a massive waste of time when I'm only having 10 minutes to do but yeah so in the six hours again it, theoretically if we didn't see the window closing we would think okay this is it I mean but first we have closed the window and uh, we are still at support now the fact that it dropped it doesn't mean anything so I'm still I'm still supporting the same idea that this is going to go up even though I must confess myself, I am, no, I don't even know if that's correct, but myself, I have confessed as well that I am not feeling very confident that it's going to go up. But you know, this channel only tells you one way. I will never tell you two possible scenarios just to be proven always right. So I don't mind being wrong because that's what happens when you trade. You eventually are wrong and you need to deal, you need to manage the error as best as you can. So uh, let's see if I can figure out something in the three hours. In the three hours, it looks again, it looks like I am right. So you see RSI is trending up slightly while the price action is really not, at least in the beginning here. Now it is trending up slightly. And MACD doesn't really look like it, actually looks like it wants to break out again. So yeah, I feel confident, but we need to see what happens. I. I must I must follow a rule basically and the rule says if the window is closed then we have the confirmation that the price is going to go in the direction of the closure of the window regardless whatever signals you can get from the candles I mean from the these like ham, hammers and men and whatever um, here it's interesting because the price really made a big gap and there is still a window actually but it's in the hour in the hour digibyte is a little crazy so it's difficult to to figure it out but yeah there is a window the MACD is trending up RSI is trending up is just fighting for 50 and it looks like there is an as this ascending triangle here on RSI look oops let me just redo it boom looks you see this one is going up it found resistance at 50 and so it's looking like it's gonna break it out and eventually this one will become again support then you know the problem is this we have all the moving averages here so it's to be expected that they would not just give us very good signals they will keep going up and down what am I doing and so let me check now uh, did you buy Bitcoin I think it's uh, still there yeah it is still there in fact um, let me see yeah it's more or less it, it might have lost like 4% ish or something like that this is probably a 4% in this price range only one how comes doji for each point is 2% well good uh, <laughs> so it didn't lose much yeah and I think Yes, again, this little breakout of this resistance may happen, but I would not expect it to go up all the way straight away. It will correct again and retest because Bitcoin is about to do that rally. By the way, today I'm not going to make a Bitcoin video. I'm short in time, unfortunately. Uh, but it's good to know that I was completely right. It's dropping exactly where I'm saying it was. So hopefully also this one is going to do exactly what I said he will um, or he would so yeah hopefully that's it I hope you enjoyed the video um, please don't forget to like share and subscribe I thank you very much 181 subscribers yet yeah, that's awesome I now I want to go to 200 I told you the goal is to go to 1000 so that I can start monetizing with YouTube and uh, that would be awesome and I really owe you a big deal I am planning to do more details more information about Digibyte so if you want you can uh, you can start follow also my website and if you join my newsletter which is basically join the tribe at promisingtrader.com slash join the tribe it's a literally a newsletter 
I will keep you updated on everything that I do that can be relevant to you. Thank you again for, watch for watching. I wish you a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow with another Digibyte update. Thanks. Bye-bye.